Human nature often encompasses a tendency to conceal the truth, driven by a desire to evade the harsh reality of the situation they find themselves in. This inclination arises from a complex interplay of psychological, emotional, and societal factors. Humans, in their quest for self-preservation, may resort to hiding the truth to shield themselves from facing uncomfortable truth or consequences. Fear, shame, guilt, or fear of judgment can fuel this inclination to escape reality. By concealing the truth, individuals may temporarily find solace in a distorted version of events creating an illusionary buffer against the discomfort and potential negative outcomes that confronting the truth may bring. However, this habit of avoiding reality ultimately inhibits personal growth, hampers healthy relationships, and undermines the potential for meaningful progress and change. A samurai is killed and his wife is assaulted by a bandit in a forest. In court, different testimonies was given between the bandit, the wife, a woodcutter, and the samurai through a medium, each offering their own conflicting version of the murder events. In today's video, we will be talking about Rashomon. Rashomon is a 1950 Jidageki for psychological thriller crime film directed and written by Akira Kurosawa, working in close collaboration with cinematographer Kazuo Miyagawa. The plot and characters are based upon Ryonosuke Akutagawa's short story In a Groove, with the title and framing story being based on Rashomon under the short story by Aku Tagawa. Rashomon was the first Japanese film to receive a significant international reception. It won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival in 1951, was given an Academy Honorary Award at the 24th Academy Awards in 1952. Often credited as the reason the Academy created the best foreign film category and is considered one of the greatest films ever made and the Rashomon effect is named after the film too. Rashomon takes place in a feudal Japan and opens with a woodcutter, a priest, and a commoner seeking refuge from a downpour at the Rashomon Gate. The three engage in a conversation about a recent trial that has left them bewildered. The trial involves a murder and the event leading up to it. As the woodcutter begins to recount the incident, the film unfolds through a series of flashbacks. The central event revolves around the murder of a samurai and the violation of his wife in a dense forest. However, what sets the narrative apart is that it presents multiple conflicting accounts of the same event. The first version of the event is narrated by a notorious bandit named Tajomaru. He claims to have seduced the samurai's wife Masako and engaged in a duel with the samurai, ultimately killing him. Tajomaru portrays himself as a skilled warrior and the victor in this encounter. The plot then shifts to Masako's perspective. Masako's account contradicts Tajomaru's portraying herself as a victim and the samurai as a noble and honorable man. The story adds a layer of complexity to the narrative as she grapples with conflicting emotions and desires. To further complicate matters, the spirit of the deceased samurai is summoned through a medium, offering a third account of the incident. The samurai's testimony challenges both Tajomaru and Masako, presenting a different interpretation of the events that transpired in the forest. <laughs> At its core, Rashomon is a murder mystery that revolves around a heinous crime committed in a forest. However, Kurosawa takes this seemingly straightforward premise and weaves a complex tapestry of conflicting perspectives, leaving the audience to question the elusive nature of truth. Through multiple accounts of the same event, the film explores the unreliable nature of memory, the biases of individual perspective, and the subjective interpretations that shape our understanding of reality. The narrative structures of Rashomon present conflicting perspectives of the same event, namely the murder and its aftermath. This departure from traditional storytelling techniques was revolutionary for its time and had a profound impact on the art of cinematic storytelling. In most conventional narratives, 
there is a clear and objective truth presented to the audience. The audience typically follows a linear storyline guided by an omniscient perspective that provided a comprehensive understanding of the events. However, Rashomon disrupts this approach by presenting multiple subjective accounts that contradict one another. By showcasing different perspectives on the same event, the film challenges the idea of a singular objective truth. Each character involved in the murder provides their own version of events, influenced by their personal biases, desires, and motivations. This highlights the inherent subjectivity of human interpretation and memory. The power of subjective interpretation is showcased in Rashomon as the audience is left to navigate through the conflicting accounts and determine their own understanding of the truth. The film raises questions about the reliability of eyewitness testimony and the complexity of human perception, memory, and self-interest. The movie goes beyond its murder mystery plot and delves into profound themes such as morality and ethics. Through its multiple perspective, Rashomon challenges traditional notion of morality and ethical conduct. The conflicting accounts of the characters raise questions about what is right or wrong, blurring the line between justice and self-interest. The film prompts viewers to examine their own moral compass and the subjective nature of ethical judgments. Guilt and Innocence The film explores the theme of guilt and innocence as each character grapples with their involvement in the murder. Their conflicting testimonies reveal the complexity of guilt as they justify their actions or deny responsibility. Ambiguity of Life Rashomon portrays the ambiguity and uncertainty inherent in life. The multiple perspectives presented in the film create a fragmented and elusive understanding of reality. The narratives intersect and contradict each other, leaving the audience to grapple with the unknowable aspect of existence. By delving into these profound themes, Rashomon transcends its murder mystery plot and offers a deeper exploration of the human experience. Its thought-provoking nature challenges viewers to confront fundamental questions about morality, perception and the complexities of being human. Rashomon incorporates several symbolic elements that deepen the thematic exploration of the film. The gates. The dilapidated Rashomon gate serves as a symbolic threshold between the outside world and the forest where the central event takes place. It represents the boundary between civilization and nature, order and chaos, and the truth and deception. The sun. Throughout the film, the changing positions of the sun are used symbolically to highlight the shifting perspectives and the subjective nature of truth. As the sun moves behind clouds or through the trees, it casts shadows and alters the perception of events, underscoring the film's exploration of the relativity of truth and the malleability of human perceptions. The horse. The horse belonging to the samurai and his wife symbolized their social status and the fading glory of the feudal era. It represents their privileged position in society and the stark contrast between their noble status and the morally questionable events that unfold in the forest. These symbolic elements, among others, contribute to the multi layered nature of Rashomon and adapt to its exploration of truth, perception, and the complexity of the human psyche. They invite viewers to interpret the film beyond its surface narrative engaging them in a profound and thought-provoking cinematic experience. Rashomon features a small but impactful ensemble of characters each offering their own perspective on the central events of the story. Tajomaru portrayed by Toshiro Mifune. Tajomaru is a bandit who becomes entangled in a central crime that takes place in the forest he is portrayed as a charismatic and unpredictable character. Driven by his desire and impulses, Tajomaru's account of the event showcases his bravado and his self-assuredness, but it also raises questions about his reliability and truthfulness. The Samurai portrayed by Masayuki Mori The Samurai is a noble warrior who falls victim to the bandit and ultimately loses his life. Though he only appears in flashback and through the testimonies of others, his presence lingers throughout the film 
the varying interpretation of his character ranging from honorable to weak highlight the subjectivity nature of truth and the complexity of human perceptions. The wife portrayed by Machiko Kyo. The wife is a central character in Rashomon. Her version of events provides yet another perspective on the crime. Her portrayal is layered and enigmatic, blurring the line between victim and accomplice. The wife's account reveals her complex motivations, struggle with morality, and the effect of societal expectation on her actions. The Woodcutter portrayed by Takashi Shimura The Woodcutter serves as a witness to the event in the forest and provides an objective viewpoint. His character adds a sense of moral ambiguity as he admits to withhold certain information. The Woodcutter's introspective nature and internal conflict make him a crucial figure in exploring the theme of truth, guilt, and the complexity of human nature. The Priest portrayed by Minoru Chayaki and the Commoner portrayed by Kichijiro Ueda the priest and the commoner are secondary characters who listen to the testimonies of the main character at the Rashomon Gate. They represent the audience perspective as they grapple with the conflicting accounts and search for their own understanding of truth. Their presence in the framing narrative offers a critical lens through which to view the events and the nature of storytelling itself. Each character in Rashomon brings their own biases, desire, and perspective to the narrative. <laughs> Akira Kurosawa's direction and Kazuo Miyagawa's cinematography in Rashomon are indeed remarkable. Kurosawa's attention to framing is evident throughout the film. For example, in the scene at the Rashomon Gate, the characters are often positioned in a triangular composition, visually representing the dynamic relationship between them. This deliberate framing enhanced the sense of tension and conflict among the characters. The contrast between light and shadow was used to establish the mood of a scene. Bright, well-lit scenes with minimal shadows can create a sense of openness, while darker scenes with pronounced shadows can evoke tension, mystery, or suspense. And light and shadow can be employed symbolically to convey deeper meanings and subtext. For example, a character partially obscured in shadow may represent their hidden motives or a moral ambiguity. Conversely, a character bathed in a bright light may signify purity or enlightenment. Cinematographers use these visual cues to enhance the thematic undertones of a film and enrich the storytelling. Kurosawa also employs close-up shots to capture the raw emotions and inner turmoils of the characters. For instance, during the intense moment of the duel and confrontations, the camera zooms in on the character faces, revealing their expression of anger, fear, and desperation. This close-up intensifies the emotional impact of the performances and draws the audience deeper into the characters' psychological states. Kurosawa's masterful direction and Miyagawa's stunning cinematography in Rashomon elevates the film to a cinematic masterpiece. The sound design in Rashomon is a significant element that complements the film's visual storytelling and contributes to its atmospheric and immersive qualities. Musical score composed by Fumio Hayasaka set the atmospheric tone of the film contributing to its overall mood. The musical is haunting, reflective, and melancholic, perfectly capture the ambiguity and existential dilemmas explored in the narrative. Hayasaka's score also reflects the cultural context of the film, drawing inspiration from traditional Japanese music. The use of instruments like the shamisen, flute, and koto adds an authentic and cultural resonance elements to the score. This infusion of traditional Japanese music further enhances the film setting and enriches the overall cinematic experience. The film incorporates various natural sounds to create a sense of realism and immerse the audience in the environment. For example, the sound of rain falling, leaves rustling, and bird chirping contribute to the atmospheric of the forest setting where the murder takes place. The use of silent and well-timed pauses in Rashomon is significant in building tension and emphasizing the character in the malls. The moments of silence allow the audience to reflect on the conflicting accounts and contemplate the ambiguity of truth. These pauses create a sense of anticipation and heighten the dramatic impact of certain scenes. 
The international success of this film heralded an almost unprecedented run of films that put Akira Kurosawa and Japanese cinema firmly on the worldwide stage. For Kurosawa in particular, it marked the start of his Jidageki phase, a series of period films set among the samurai of 16th century Japan. It included Seven Samurai, Throne of Blood, The Hidden Fortress, Yojimbo, and Sanjuro. It's hard to really appreciate uh, the true genius of Kurosawa, I think, until you've seen a few of the films and then you've been able to see other films at the same time and be able to realize his visual style to me that is so strong and unique. And, and, um, and again, uh, uh, a very, very power, powerful element in how he tells his stories. Rashomon is a freaking amazing movie that you absolutely have to watch. It's like nothing you have ever seen before. The way the story is told from different perspectives will blow your mind. It messes with your head in the best possible way and leave you questioning what really happened. But what really set Rashomon apart is the way it explores deep stuff like the nature of truth, the complexity of human nature, and the moral dilemmas we face. It makes you think, it's not just a murder mystery, it's a journey into the human souls. It's a film that stays with you long after the credit rolls. Furthermore, it is important to take note that Rashomon had a profound impact on the film industry, reshaping the very foundation of storytelling by employing multiple perspectives and subjective interpretations. The film introduced an innovative narrative structure that challenged conventional norms. Guys, what do you think about Rashomon? Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Do you see it as a masterpiece film of a samurai drama like I do? Or do you have another way of looking at it? Let me know that kind of stuff in the comment below. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Toga out.